The Shapiro Foundation is a Boston-based family foundation which primarily serves refugees across the globe. Ed and Barbara Shapiro are super activist philanthropists that are solving problems, and I get to be their partner in doing so. Boston educates 15% of college students across America, and every segment of the community here is that much more open-minded than um, the equivalent in another city. I find that in certain segments, there's like deep and meaningful pluralism. You can actually engage with folks that are like you, but actually aren't exactly like you. There's just enough transience here that there's always somebody new coming through the door, and there's great organizations like CJP engaging young adults here. So my dad is a rabbi by training. My mom is an incredible volunteer throughout the Jewish community. And so there was something deep in the water, the latkes, the whatever it was, that made us all understand that these are the values that we have. So from the time I was very little, I dreamed about becoming a rabbi. My mom, when I was ordained, gave me a gift of my fifth grade school project, which has written on it, I want to be a rabbi and have a bazillion dogs and cats and live in a purple house. I am a rabbi and a cantor at Temple Emmanuel in Newton. My focus is on teen and young adult engagement. Uh, specifically, I'm looking to connect young people to Jewish practices that are relevant and exciting for them and to help them find the communities that are going to bring meaning to their life. When you share it, it's like they've been met by a moment in the past. It's like their present moment encounters a moment in the past and that gives meaning to their present and the future. Judaism is a great app for life and a great app for connection. We are inspiring families to learn more. The JCC Greater Boston partners with the Harold Grinspoon Foundation locally to bring books into people's homes living in the Greater Boston area. What's exciting to us at JCC is that we can reach people in 97 towns, not just around our building in Newton, and we're able to engage with families all over at different stages of their children's lives. After I had my son, my second child, I was looking for what was next in my professional career and it's just been such a gift to me to try new things, to learn, to grow, and to find what matters to me as a professional, me as a parent with young children. I'm just, I'm inspired by them, and I am really excited about all the work that we do. So I first moved to Boston about four years ago after college and I immediately got involved at CJP and what I found was this incredible space to meet friends, to meet people that feel like my family. And I think there's something really magical about Boston. I think it's approachable, it's exciting, it's innovative. It inspires me to do the same but also to learn about different opportunities that are available and it's really what gets me going. GAN Academy is a pluralistic Jewish high school in Waltham, Massachusetts. Both GAN and CJP really work to empower the next generation of Jewish leaders. My job is to help alumni bring that back home and help the students that they once were. The work that I do professionally is really to help people put their Jewish values into the world through philanthropy. And so I love to look at the Jewish world, look at the world around me and see how can we reinvent what exists already so that it works better, more efficiently, more collaboratively and serves everyone involved. Not only am I a member of Congregation KI, I'm also a professional at Two Life Communities, which is soon to develop new affordable housing for older adults right there on the campus with KI so that older adults living in Two Life Communities, affordable apartments in Brookline will be able to access the best of Boston's Jewish community at this new campus at KI. There is a veneration built into Jewish life for those who came before us. The traditions that we love, the life that we connect to today is built on generations and generations of people that came before us.